Hi there guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the partition sizes on your hard drive. Okay then, so for this video uh, what we're going to be using is this free software from Aomi. It's called Partition Assistant Home. Edition. Uh, if we launch that, okay. Once that starts, there we go. Uh, this application is free for private and commercial use, and this doesn't allow you to just change the partition sizes. It allows you to do all sorts like extend partitions, disk copy, partition copy, migrate OS to SSD or hard drive, partition recovery wizard, and make a bootable CD. Um, and what this application is going to do in this video is I'm going to basically show you how to use the basic fun functionality of it. Uh, this doesn't mean that you can't do more within the software. Um, so yeah, so just go ahead to download the software, the link is uh, below and um, that will go to my website and you can download it from there. As I say it's free and um, it's going to work forever. So, what I'm going to show you now is how to resize the C partition on your hard drive. So, it, say if you wanted to um, maybe install a second operating system on your hard drive and you want to use the same hard disk, what you would need to do is you'll need to split it in half so that only half of it is used for, say, Windows 7 in this example and half of it would be used for uh, Ubuntu or, or whatever you're putting on it. So. What you need to do is you need to uh, click on the disk. This will show all the disks that are connected to your machine. At the minute, I've got one 500 gig hard disk uh, connected. And if we click on that, it will go green to show that it's selected. We right click on that and we can resize the partition, merge partition, split partition, allocate free space, copy partition, create, change label, uh, properties, and under advanced, we can set the active partition and we can also check it. So, for the minute what we're going to do is we're going to resize the partition and you can see that this software has a very visual way of uh, showing you what's happening and if we drag it there we can say that that is visually about a half but if you want to make it accurate this is um, ready to be 232 gigs for it to be Uh, about half, there we go. Okay, so we can now see that we've got 232 gigs there and 232 gigs there. So that means that we're going to end up with a partition on C of 232.75 gig and we're going to end up with the rest of it just being all that unallocated at the minute. So if we click on OK here, and that won't apply it just yet but we can see that it is now split in half. What we'll need to do if we needed to, to create a partition we would click on there and create a partition. Now here what we do is we choose the partition size so if you didn't even want to use it all up you could just say use half of it or whatever so you can assign a drive letter so for this one we'll try E. We want the partition to be NTFS and the partition size is another 230 gig. So if we click on OK, we can there uh, see that on C we have 230 gigs there, and on E we have 230 gig. Now that would be good if you wanted to, to install another operating system on your machine. And uh, so yeah, so that's how it will be done. Now on the left you can see that it's got pending operations it says we need to resize C on disk 1 which is this disk create E on disk 1 as well so that is what it will do uh, it hasn't done it yet uh, what we need to do is we click on the apply button and it says this program is ready to proceed and it will go from 500 gigs to 232 gigs and then create a partition on the 230 gig drive uh, it comes up with an estimated time uh, but we're not going to do that now because I'm just doing this for this tutorial 
Um, so for now what we're going to do is we're going to discard this so that's how it was before. Uh, you can do all sorts with this app application as I say. Uh, disk copy so if you want to clone um, we can do a disk uh, quick disk copy and a sector by sector which is um, probably better for hard drives that are probably dying if you if you put it like that. Um, we can do petition recovery so if you've formatted it by mistake you can recover uh, your data migrate OS to SSD so we click next and then we would se select the disk that has the SSD on it so then what it would do is it would clone the hard drive to the to your SSD or if you're going from your SSD to your hard drive it would clone it that way and you would have a perfect identical copy of Windows okay so thanks for watching this video where we've been checking out AOME Petition Assist this application is free as I say so please go ahead and download it please remember to check out my forums at www.benstechtips.co.uk and remember to, to support the developer uh, at AOME